Site searching is a Google shortcut that will save you time searching the open web for hard to find information. Let's start with the basic technique for site searching. In the search box, you will start with your search terms. Then you'll add the shortcut site, S-I-T-E, and add a colon. Then you can indicate either an upper level domain such as .edu or .gov, or you can indicate a specific website you would like to search within. Now that we have the basic technique down, here is site searching in action. The sample topic I'll be using today is Title IX. The official way to spell out Title IX is with the word title and the Roman numeral nine. I'll start with that as my search terms. Then I'll add the site shortcut and remember to add the colon in there. And lastly, I'll start with a simple domain search, such as .gov. As I scroll through the results, I notice each of the URLs have an upper level domain of .gov. For example, in my list, I've got ed.gov from the U.S. Department of Education, justice.gov from the Justice Department, and uscourts.gov, the official website of the United States court system. These results are great for our basic .gov site search, but what if I want to find information about Title IX from Oregon? I need to use the specific Oregon government website URL in my site search. Here's how that works. I can easily use Google to find the URL of the state of Oregon's website. You won't be surprised to find it's Oregon.gov. We'll use the same basic technique for the site search as the last example with one small change. First, our search terms, followed by the site shortcut with the colon, then, and here's the change, I'll use the URL for the state of Oregon's website, oregon.gov. You can use the same technique to search the city of Portland's website by changing the URL at the end. Now that we know how to site search using an upper level domain and a URL, here are a few additional examples of how you can harness the power of site searching to save you time. To find information about your topic from a local organization, try something like this. In my web searching, I came across an organization called the Northwest Association of Title IX Administrators. I'd like to find information from this organization about transgender students. I can take the URL of the homepage and note here I'm not including the www or http portion of the URL and I'll add in my site shortcut with the colon. And for this example, I'll use the search term transgender. My results list shows all the places on the web website that mentions transgender students. I can browse these results and get a faster experience finding information about this topic from this specific website. Here's another example. To find information about your topic from a localized newspaper, try this. Our local state newspaper of record is the Oregonian. The URL is OregonLive.com. I'll enter the search terms Title IX and the term transgender. I'll add the site search shortcut and the colon and the URL of the newspaper's website. Again, I'm leaving off the www or http portion of the URL. And my results list shows me all of the articles about Title IX and transgender students from the Oregonian. I can further harness the power of Google by using the tools filter at the top of my results list and narrowing my results by time. In this example, I'll select past year from the drop-down list. And now I have all of the news articles that have been published in the last year from the Oregonian about Title IX and transgender students. I can do that same search in the New York Times by changing the URL to nytimes.com. If I want to find articles that mention Oregon, I can add that to my search as well. In conclusion, site searching is a great way to locate hard to find information from specific types of websites such as .gov or .edu, or you can use this technique to search within a specific website for your exact information need.